Hello students, a warm welcome to y'all. We are on the topic some basic concept of chemistry and here we will be dealing with the subtopic which is known as an limiting reagent. We will also learn what is an excess reagent. In a chemical reaction, we have seen that reactants are converted to product. So, I am taking here R1 plus R2 which are our reactant. They combine together and form product P. Now, suppose in a reaction, what is required? is 10 gram of R1 plus 20 gram of R2. This is what is required for the reaction to complete. Okay. But when we are working in the lab, what is given to us is 5 gram of R1 plus 20 gram of R2. Now what will happen in this case? Required is 10 gram of R1 plus 20 gram of R2 but given is 5 gram of R1 plus 20 gram of R2. So once the reaction starts after this 5 gram of R1 is exhausted, it will not be able to react further. So, here this R1 is lesser than the quantity which, which is required. So, in the chemical reaction, the reactant which is present in the lesser amount than what is required, which gets consumed after some time and no reaction takes place. Since the reactant itself is over, so this particular reactant which limits the reaction is known as an limiting reagent and is given by LR and one which is an excess is known as an excess reagent and it is given by ER. So in this example R1 is a limiting reagent and R2 is a excess reagent. Thus, from this example, we can conclude that the reactant which is present in the lesser amount gets consumed after some time and after that no further reaction takes place, whatever be the amount of the reactant present. Hence, the reactant which gets consumed and limits the amount of product form is called as the limiting reagent. And the reactant other than the limiting reagent which is somewhat in excess is called as an excess reagent. Let's take the example of everyday limiting reagent. So we have here question that is how many peanut butter sandwiches could be made from 8 slices of bread and 1 jar of peanut butter. What is provided to us are 8 slices of bread and 1 jar of peanut butter. So generally from 8 slices of bread only 4 sandwiches could be made. So we have here 8 slices of bread plus 1 jar full jar of peanut butter. We can make here generally we can make 4 peanut butter sandwiches. Plus, what will be left with us will be peanut butter. So, in this case, 
our slices of bread will get over first so this is a limiting item so bread is a limiting item and peanut butter is a excess item thank you